Hello, it's Techie Tuesday. This is Gnarly Nate. I am going to show you how to make uh, a quick video uh, using iMovie. Okay, first off, here is a video I made yesterday. And just grabbing the clips, you can see right here, um, these are the transitions. You can choose between, uh, let's see. So all the transitions are pretty straightforward. Sometimes I choose not to use a transition like this one because I have a panoramic uh, picture going from one to the next and I don't want it to cut off any of the, the edging. Because once you start using um, transitions like theme all the way through fade at the bottom here, it will cut off some of your, your, um, your photos. So when it's doing a zoom from left to right like this one is, it will leave off some of the right side if you do a transition at the end. Alright, so transitions, um, you have control over audio like this video clip. I chose not to use the audio by selecting the clip, choosing uh, the audio down below. Actually, I did go back and use it after all, but if I wanted to turn off the audio, you would select the um, audio down here on the bottom left and then just choose the fade and drop it down to nothing. But in this case I did turn it back on and and if you want to fade it in and out so it, trans it smoothly comes in between you can see on the left side and the right side you can see a natural fade which is done right over here under where is it? Oh, right there. So back on the uh, volume side, you just click on the fade on the bottom right, and then you can move these trimmers of how how much you want to fade from the left or from the right. Okay, and then on this one, you can see I faded it more on the left side and then ended it quicker on the right. And the reason for that was because I was finishing. You can see the, the purple audio line at the bottom is actually my audio track when I did a voiceover. So I was just speaking in the background right here, and then when it started fading into this other one, I wanted it to come in gradually, so it wasn't overtaking it until the very end. And then at the very end of uh, any video, it's always good to have the audio fade out slower. So I did that fade at the end, and then you can see here in the the last clip in the top right corner of it there's a little icon right there and that's referring to under I don't know if you can see this but there's a little wheel thing up here when you click on it it gives you options to turn on the fade in black and fade out black so I turned those two settings on for this video which allow for the videos to naturally fade in and out at the beginning and end so that's how you start the videos nice and end the videos nice. As you see on the very first clip, you'll see that little icon in the top left corner of the first clip. And to make a voice recording, to uh, up here in the top left area, there's a little mic button. You click the mic button and it's ready to record if I wanted to. And once you click record, it'll Hello, count down Kelly, three seconds. Uh, and then right now I can start recording. And then it'll ask you to, uh, you can review it, and then accept it if you accept it. And then you can see that little clip down there that I just made. If you end up not liking it, or need it a little softer, louder, go back to cut. You can duplicate it, um, put it in the background, delete it. Hopefully that was helpful. How to make a quick uh, video using the iPhone iMovie app. Oh, one last thing. This clip right here, um, this is a video down on the bottom and on the top. So the way you can actually use two layers of video is, if you notice here, when I click on this video, you have a new option at the bottom left. Instead of the cut scissors and then the timer, which speeds up or slows down the video, volume right there, this one this icon allows for you to switch it from 
how I want to position these two videos side by side. So the one I chose was side by side, but this one could be a little tiny video in the t upper left corner overlaying the main video on the bottom and uh, um, filling the whole screen versus this one just switches the order the other direction. This one puts the video on top and bottom and reverses the order there. This one switches between each video um, and that's it for the different ways. The way you bring those in is you have to select a video, how you actually put a video on top. You select a video, go to your library, um, grab a new video, let's see, and let's just say you wanted this video over here, and I brought it, uh, before I push the arrow down, I would click on one of these choices on the far three right choices. Choose any one of those, it'll bring in the video to overlay it and make a layer. If I choose the one with the little plus button, it just puts in the audio from this video. And then you can play with the audio only. And of course, if you want to just play this video, Hello, it's you can see it Magnus. right there in a little preview window. And then if, if you want to trim down what you want to bring in, you have controls like that. So, for example, if I wanted just that portion of the day, I will grab this little video clip and now you can see it's over the top of the others. And then again I have controls over the audio, the cutting it in different ways, like if I wanted to split it right in the middle, now it's two clips, I can move that second clip further away. And there you have it. Quick little tutorial on how to edit and create videos using your iPhone in the app called uh, iMovie. Hope that was helpful and have a great Tuesday. Peace out.